we're looking to find the tens digit of n and looking at the two statements, I'm thinking I'd rather start with statement two because that one is uh, talking about the tens digit of n. It's telling us that if we add one to n, the tens digit will be seven. So I'm wondering what happens to the tens digit of a number when you add one. When you add one to a number, most of the time, the tens digit won't change, except if the units digit was nine, right? If the units digit of the number was nine and you're adding one, that's actually going to increase the tens digit by one, unless the tens digit and the units digit we're both nine and then adding one will actually t turn the tens digit into zero. But as long as the units digit isn't nine, adding one won't affect the tens digit. So do we know what the units digit is? Do we know whether it's nine or not nine? Uh, no, we don't know that. So telling me what the tens digit would be once we've added one to n does not allow me to infer what the tens digit originally was and therefore statement two is not sufficient on its own, we should eliminate B and D. Let's go and look at statement one right after this. So statement one is talking about the hundreds digit of 10n. So 10n, meaning we multiplied n by 10. What happens to the digits of a number when you multiply that number by 10? Well, all of the digits shift one space to the left, right? The number 23 would turn into 230, just as an example. So what used to be the tens digit in n is now the hundreds digit in 10n. Wait, and statement one is actually telling us what the hundreds digit is in 10n. And the hundreds digit in 10n was the tens digit in n, which was the thing that we we're trying to find out. So if statement one is telling us the hundreds digit of 10n, we can infer the tens digit of n, because it's the same digit, it's the same exact number. Therefore, statement one on its own is sufficient, and the answer is A. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.